So you're probably wondering which ELSD is best for my company's testing purposes. There are many brands of ELSDs out on the market, and all of them will tell you theirs is the best or the most sensitive. I know from firsthand experience which ones are the most sensitive and which ones are the least sensitive. And right now there's three countries making them for the most part. The primary brands are coming out of England, France, and America. They have a different approaches to the spraying. They have different light wavelengths. They use red lasers, blue lasers, halogen bulbs, blue LEDs. There's all different light schemes and spraying schemes. They all are called ELSDs and they all do it a little bit differently and therefore have different sensitivity levels. For example, the French detector, um, the ZX85 is the gold standard for most clients that are doing high-end pharmaceutical work. There is the Polymer Labs style ELSD. Um, looks like a little mid-sized computer. And there's Alltech or Bucci's. Uh, Bucci is the company that currently sells them. So there's a couple American companies, French and British. The French ELSD, the, the ZX, is the most sensitive ELSD on the market. The ZX85, like we have right here, is very sensitive. I mean, 5 ppm glucose ZX. Oh, this is the, this is the ZX85. Uh, is really the gold standard for sensitivity. If you need sensitivity, it's got plenty of sensitivity. 5 ppm glucose injections, easily a thousand to one signal to noise ratio. You run a 5 ppm glucose standard on the PL style, the Palmer Labs 2100, which is now the Agilent ELSDs, as Agilent now owns the Palmer Labs Varian style ELSDs. These are about five times less responsive. Um, and then on the Alltech 2000s and the Alltech style ELSD, it's about 50 times less sensitive at 5 ppm glucose. So I have a client that has one of each of these and they like that because they're doing random method analysis for clients from all over the country who are doing compound analysis. So if, they're, if they got a rarefied sample like say some rat brain tumor extract that took two years to grow and they want to do a full 40 injection assay on it and they have very low concentrations of sample and they need a high sensitivity detector, you're going to want the ZX for something like that. If you have some industrial product or some food grade product where you're not sample limited, then you might go to a Polymer lab style detector. It's kind of the in-between detector. I call it kind of like the Enduro. You know, if you want to go off-road or on-road, this one is good in the middle of the road kind of detector. And the lower sensitivity ones are the old, are the Altex, where people are typically industrial chemical companies where they're not sample limited and have tons and tons of petroleum product or plastics they're analyzing. They can inject huge concentrations to compensate for the detector's lack of sensitivity. And there's a second pitfall to some of the lower sensitivity detectors. And there's a pitfall for the higher sensitivity detectors is the tolerance of turbidity. Again, turbidity comes up again. I have clients that have the lower sensitivity detectors, but they have very dirty columns, very dirty solvent, and these units will tolerate it because they're low sensitivity. They take their method and transfer it over to a high sensitivity detector, it'll fail, and they'll think there's something wrong with the detector, when in fact they just have a very bad methodology they haven't cleaned up properly. So you can kind of hide the truth by working with a lower sensitivity detector to hide your turbidity issues, it'll tolerate it, but the units will require more maintenance and they'll get contaminated and fail more frequently. The higher sensitivity detectors are the ones that require much more discipline on your method's development. So if you have a bad method and you take it to a ZX, you're going to have to redo your method because that detector is going to be super sensitive. But if you need sensitivity, you're going to have it. And you can tune these things down to tolerate the turbidity to different gain levels. So you have the option of going low sensitivity or high sensitivity on the ZXs. You do not on the PLs or the Altex. Their sensitivity range is their sensitivity range. Because this uses a photomultiplier tube, it literally changes your signal to noise ratio. You have amazing sensitivity at 5 ppm glucose on gain 12. I'll get a thousand millivolt peak at 5 ppm glucose on this detector. 
on this PL style detector, I might get a 200 millivolt peak response, which is five times less. And the exact same reference standard, 5 ppm, on an Altec 2000, I get a 20 millivolt response. 50 times less peak height, five times less peak height, maximum peak height on low sensitivity, low concentration compounds. So it depends on what you want to do. If you need high sensitivity, go high fidelity. If you've if you got unlimited sample concentrations and unlimited samples, you can probably tolerate a lower sensitivity detector. But by no means are all these equal in their performance.